You think it's a game. You don't take nothing serious. That's what's wrong with you. Where you from, G? Man, I'm from Atlanta, man. From Atlanta? Real Atlanta, nigga. What part? A little bit of everywhere. The whole Atlanta? Yeah, I grew up a, a little bit around everywhere. That was so. You grew up a little bit over here. Grew up a little bit over there. Yeah. Spend your childhood in the wild hood. Then moved to a nice neighborhood. Yeah. Then moved to the burbs. Then back to the city. Hell yeah, yeah. You know, ghetto shit. Hey man, welcome back. I don't know if you heard, but the black market is open. Right now. Now look, you might be walking through the black market, you might be shopping, you might have a whole cart full of shit, and you may need a snack. Yeah. You may need something just to get you up out of the black market, you know what I'm saying? You might just need something real quick while you about to go. Or you might be watching your health. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You might be going natural. Yeah. You might want to get back to the fruits and the nuts and the bears of the thing. Yeah. So you got to have you some of these right here, man. We got my man Ryan Scott in here on the black market with us today. Now this shit crazy. Now we always try to find some cool, interesting people to talk to on here. And this is definitely cool and interesting. My boy is selling pistachio nuts. Yes, sir. Bro, how you get into this, this uh, bit, this industry, bro? Okay. Uh, cut a long story short. Uh, I wrote this, I wrote something down. My mom told me to write something down when I was like 15 years old. We was in a homeless shelter. And uh, I played baseball growing up. So my goal was to always own my own nut company. And uh, <laughs> I ended up going to New Mexico. Really? <laughs> really, bro? Yeah. This was always the goal. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, you gotta always think outside the box. You right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna be no baseball player or no rapper, or, you know, play hoops or nothing like that. So. I always had, to, I know I had to think outside the box to, you know, make something better for myself. What was the first batch like? Man, I was trapping them things out, out of a Ziploc bag. For real? Super trash, yeah. Why did you pick pistachios um, out of all those things? I ended up meeting somebody in New Mexico. Um, and so when my grandmother passed, she told me, man, get, you know, pretty much get your shit together. And uh, so I ended up talking to him and he was like, you know, what you trying to do? And I told him I want to, I got to get my own nut come try, try it out. Lemon pepper wet? Yeah, they hit too. I ain't even cutting you off. I'm just like, bro, I might well go and eat them whole. Got to. <laughs> <laughs> got to. And so uh, he asked me what I wanted to do, and I told him I want to own my own nut company. I think I'm going to just try it out. And this man, I ain't, like, we talked over time, and he told me, hey, I own a pistachio farm. You know what I'm saying? So everything kind of aligned itself, especially after my grandmother passed. So, you, you know, you end up taking the good with the bad, and. Shit, that's how I started. End up flying out there, seeing certain things, and coming back, trapping them, trapping stuff out with the with the Ziploc bag on Old National. For real? Yeah. And so, uh... He motherfucker hit me. Yeah, they hit. And so, uh, uh, Did you have to learn, like, about the industry? Yeah, like, learned about the industry and... He put you up? Yeah. He put me on, you know, taught, taught me a lot of stuff, like... Man, just how they grow, how, how you grow them, and... I ain't know it take, like, 15 years to grow a tree, like to fully harvest the tree. And you don't start seeing pistachios to like five to eight years. You know so what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers eight years old? Damn, yeah. That motherfucker hit me. It tastes like real lemon pepper one. That's the goal. You come up with your own flavor. My yeah. bad. Excuse me, bro. Yeah. You motherfucker, for real. Appreciate it, man. So that's how, you know, long story short. I see you put a little inspirational story. Yeah, I don't really like it. Honestly, I think I thought it was corny, but you know, sometimes you gotta tell your story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you got different oh, yeah, spotlights. Yeah, got different. On. Yeah, I wanna you know showcase you know certain people. On That's the what back. we're doing over here. Yeah. Rebellion Harvest, like. So how did you, how did you transfer your idea into bringing it into the physical world? Uh, 
man, really just writing, writing stuff down and, you know, end up designing everything by myself. Um, didn't know where the hell I was going. I ain't know how to, really, I ain't know nothing. I ain't gonna hold you. I just, you just gotta start, really. And I seen people, you know, people clown, you know, people clown you when you begin and when you start. And so I just really just kept, somebody said, man, these, you know, you got something, just keep going. And so that's what I started doing and ended up finding, you know, figuring things out on how to design my own packaging. Mm. And I wanted to be taken, I wanted to, you know, someone to take me serious. So that was like the first thing. So when some people tell me like, your packaging is good, you know what I'm saying? That mean a lot to me. Cause your yeah. yeah, your packaging is like the initial when somebody see you. So I wanted to be taken serious. And uh, Did you have to go and negotiate with the dude from New Mexico like yeah. a drug deal? How yeah. many pistachios do you want? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a, a, a negotiation, but he really showing me love and, um, and teaching me about the business so I can get my own for him. So that's What's been your most successful part of your business? Like as far as when was your, when did you have your most success? Uh, when I was able to get into some stores. And um, I had to sell myself, because ain't nobody gonna take you serious. You know what I'm saying? At least starting out, because people skeptical. So what I ended up doing is, I give you 10 bags, and if, if you don't sell, I ain't gonna never come back. But if you sell out, we gotta do business. And that's how we end up getting into a lot of stores. And I'm in uh, one store in Baltimore. So we kind of growing a little bit, slowly but surely we growing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's dope, man. Stay independent. Don't let them get all your shit. Yeah. These, sure. Cause these right here, this alone gonna take you over the top. Yeah. Wait till the hood chicks find out you got pistachio lemon pepper whip. <laughs> it's over with. That's the three <laughs> magic words around here. What? Lemon pepper whip. Yeah. Look, if you see these anywhere you go, make sure you pick these up and support black owned business. What's the name of the store in Baltimore? Uh new. I forgot the name, I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, damn, what's the name of that store? They gonna watch this and be like, come on. <laughs> come on. Nah, I got a spread. You come know, on. Like <laughs> Say the name. Uh, <laughs> is there uh, any way? York Road Mini Mart. It's called what? York, York Road, Road Mini Mart, yeah. So if you live anywhere near the York Road Mini Mart, please go out and support. These are your only three flavors right now? Um, I got jalapeno, I got ghost pepper, and I got exotic mystery. So we sold out of those. This is Badu Sage right here. Yeah, try it out. What does it taste like, Erica Badu? Uh, something like that. Something like that. Might take D to the crib. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a, it's, it's sage, rosemary, uh, basil, sea salt, you know what I'm saying? Man, like I did, like, so this, I, I take it that pistachios had to be your favorite at some point in your life. Or not Actually, it your... wasn't. Um, I played baseball, so like sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. Yeah. That's, that's exactly where it started. Yeah, then. that's why I wanted to. Are you gonna venture out with... into some sunflower seeds? Yeah, for sure. You gotta find the dude in New Mexico with the sunflower seeds now. Yeah, I will. The same dude don't have them. Nah. You need to talk to him. I know. I got. He might be mad and be like, "So you couldn't talk to me about your sunflower seeds." <laughs> <laughs> How much sunflower seeds? I'm pretty sure he, 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 you know what I'm saying. He knows some, knows something. Yeah. But I think the goal right now is to do one thing at a time. Right. You know what I'm saying. But definitely, you know, move up vertically, integrate the business. So that's the goal. Right. Have you went on Shark Tank with him yet? Nah. Not yet. Don't go. They're gonna try to buy the business. So These say, are hit though. Say bro. no. What can we do to help you push this? Yeah, buy the motherfuckers. <laughs> man, I'm, I'm gonna buy, I'll buy whatever. But uh, man, whatever. Just being on this show, honestly, is, is a is a big step. That's why I was giving ask you. I don't know if you heard me. Like, is there anywhere they can order online? Uh, rebellionharvest.com. Yeah. Bro, we looking forward to seeing you really, cause you really might just take over what motherfucking Mr. Planners left off, bro. That's the goal. We only, you know, shop with us. Yeah. Black on. That's. I think that was also the goal too. Like. It's never, you don't, you never really see black people in spaces like this. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, I'm, cause I'm about to kick an idea to you too. It might sound far-fetched right now, cause I know you, you're doing pistachios right now, but I, I feel like the streets need a, a trail mix, bro. You're right, they do. That's next. Let's put something together. Yeah, we should. Throw some pistachios in there. Yeah. Mix that with a little sunflower seeds. Yeah. Throw some raisins in there for razzle-dazzle. Yeah. <laughs> 
You feel me? Some cashews. Yeah. Whole almonds. Yeah. You feel me? Little walnuts in there or something. Yeah. We yeah, should. Yeah, then we, we got to do, do we got to do some. Um, gotta throw the pretzels in there too. Ex- I don't fuck with them. That's that could be what an you, option. Yeah, they then can't we got to do some vegan ones for the people who got the nut allergy. Chico can't even eat the shit. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say I don't really do the vegan, but I know, but bro, just you got come to. on, we yeah. think it forward. Yeah, you got to. You got we to might have forward. to fly over to Brazil and get some sunflower seeds. That you feel me? Yeah. We gonna figure it out together. Hell yeah, yeah. We're gonna figure it out. Drop the other. site again, man. Let them know where they can find uh, you on social media. Um, you know, place your order on there and it, it should be there in like two, three days. How to... many people part of your operation? Uh, probably like six total. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we about to start ordering about three cases a week. Say less. I mean, a month. Say less. That'd just be way too many pistachios. <laughs> yeah, say less. Let's you got honey it. roasted? Um, nah, not yet. Honey roasted. Honey roasted. Shellless. Yeah, we kicking the shellless out uh, end of the year. We kicking the shellless out end of the year. Yeah. Bro, right, that's big shit. Yeah, yeah. What else? Uh, what the family say? I know Unc fucking with him. Yeah, Unc fucking with him heavy. For real? Yeah, Unc fucking hey, with him Hey, nephew. Head. Hey, you need to get barbecue. Yeah, look, look, look. He'll, he'll call me on some, <laughs> like on a random day, like, hey. Can you drop them off before I go to work? I need, you know, I need about three on to take the work. You know, the guys like them too. Yeah, for sure. That's the that's, that's your market, bro. Yeah. Black men, yeah, black sure. middle aged men. Yeah. Love to eat shit like this all day, every day. Oh, hey, come here. And hey, talk shit. Where my lemon pepper at? <laughs> hey, tell your mom to take the chicken and that fish out the freezer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So you been getting a lot of support from the hood, though, man? Like, yeah, just like, it's, you know, when I first started, I didn't know how people was gonna, like, perceive it. Right. But shit, everybody fuck with them. Somebody was in the back eating them, so. That's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta plug back in with the project, because, like, this is the type of shit we grew up on, bro. Yeah. Like, over grandma and them house and shit like that, so yeah. hell yeah. yeah. I'm glad that you came through. I'm yeah, glad that you, that, that we linked up and that we plugged in, so now I can tell all my people. Yeah. And they gonna tell they people. They gonna tell And then they gonna hit me and be like, bro, what was them goddamn, what was them shit y'all were eating on there, bro? I wanna try them all. <laughs> so yeah, man. That's the go. Yeah, yeah. So that's shit, go. that's why I keep telling you, drop your shit, let them know where they can find you. Rebellion. Um, we got a few plugs, com. man. We might be able to plug you into some people yeah. that we know, you yeah. know, with a, with a storefront that might just, you know, we just got our merch in the store. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we know a few people that's plugged in with some people yeah. that you might be interested in knowing. Okay. So, shit, Ryan Scott. Yes, sir. Mr. Planners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, y'all check him out over there, Rebe- uh, Rebellion Harvest. Hey, the black market. We got snacks, too, in there, man. Ryan yes, Scott. 85 South Show. We out of here. Told you, boy. <laughs> These Pistachios on these hoes. Appreciate it, man. Yeah.